Right guys, so we're back to vlogging at last. Down in London, doing a video shoot slash course with um, RGL Filmhouse. Just on the way to the travel lodge at the moment. I'm gonna just drop my stuff and then go and find some food. We'll maybe take some photos, maybe capture some video, get some food, some snacks. It's 20 past nine, so we are it. I didn't vlog too much because I'll be honest, I definitely walked through the wrong neighbourhood on the way here. Um, but it's safe to say I found a nice little spot. So it's not often I get little skylines like this to go and just check out a little bit. Just gonna grab some food. Sirens around here are just constant. One ambulance goes past and the next or police or whatever. This oyster capsule is pretty cool. I'm gonna take a photo of this so I'll be back in a second. I might put it on screen just to show you what I got. Okay, on reflection I should probably have just checked to make sure the less of it lit up because I've just noticed on the photos that I think it was the um, S or something. I don't know, but you'll see in the photos. The photo would actually look pretty cool because it had a um pickle palm tree in the way. Just nicely lit up, but kind of different. So good morning. Um, just going to go to the gym. This is a very different start to what my normal day is. Yeah, going to hit the gym before eight o'clock in the morning. Um, probably not going to be awake for this, but I've got some pre-workout, um, and my session is basically going to depend on what I can actually get on. Uh, I don't know what kind of equipment they have. It's just one of the general gym groups that are dotted around the country. It's literally 10 minutes around the corner, so I'm just going to head there. I have actually forgotten some deodorant, so I'm going to quickly stop by Waitrose, which is next door, and then smooth sailing for the rest of the day. Let's hope for the best. So I have just found the gym, but I'm not sure how to get in. Uh, or whether or not I'll actually be able to film in there. It's a lot bigger than what we've got at home, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Just on the way, so I just had to rush through getting a shower, getting food, had a full English which we will just post. Um, just trying to find the office which is just ahead. I'm hoping 
someone else might be here. I'm judging by the group, there is like one or two people that are. So we'll just head on inside and say hello. Well, massive school by hour. So we have a little group chat and you can't really tell what people look like from the little profile pictures. So I've just approached a girl thinking it was one of the girls on the course and it's not. Um, but she's still nice anyway. Um, very polite and kind of uh, kept the mistake. But I just want to show you this place because this place is sick. Um, and I'm just currently here doing some work. So I've got my laptop set up. Just gonna do a little bit of editing because I've got about 14 minutes, 35 minutes, so do a little bit and then when I get into the studio, hopefully Gus and everyone turns up soon. I have just met one of the guys. Um, so it seems pretty chill so far. I've been enjoying London though. It's so nice to be back. It's been maybe a few years since I last came down. I uh, definitely miss it because it's still it's just a massive change of pace from where I live. One of my plans is to, whenever I'm travelling in the UK, is to bring one. I don't know why, well it took me a while to realise, is after you edit, is exporting our videos, putting it on our phone, and leaving it there for... Oh my god, Emily, do you ever stop? And I'm just yeah. like, no! And that helps <laughs> out. A little bit protective over who was. So, just finished up with... RGL film house. Uh, I didn't really want to record it because obviously he does sell a service and we've all paid for it so I can't just exactly dish that out to you all for free. But yeah, just gonna head to the hotel now and I need to jump on the underground. Hopefully make it there okay. I'm actually quite a way away since we went to Nando's. My god, I was in task trying to get here. It's probably about half nine at night now. session in before um, the actual seminar starts. Day two, let's get it. on the single arm cable row. A little bit of a rock play that's going on. The gym over here is pretty sick to be fair. Um, not, not massive, but it's definitely got all the right bits of equipment. It looks like everything's either Rogue, Hamstring, or primarily Watson from what I can tell. Um, the few bits of equipment, like this little running machine behind me, that's pretty sick. Um, and then there's like another room just around the corner. So, I think it's more like a functional space. That's pretty cool. Um, just gonna test out some new bits of equipment that I've never used. And go from there. Here he is. Whoa. The man himself. This is why I'm behind the camera. Exactly, <laughs> exactly why. This is what you guys see when you come for shoot. Oh. on me making a gymnast ring. Mustard, 
stuff on the rings. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Right, so I'm switching over to the M50, the old camera, really shit lens, because I do actually need the R6 for the shoot. But one of the athletes just warmed up, the other guy's somewhere else, and the crew's just behind. So, just getting everything together. The battery's plugged in, charging, whatnot. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna learn some magic, hopefully. Almost, I was like, yeah, I'm not I've got an awesome one, I've got like nine nine months A lot of your shoes you're walking in here, it's not structured properly. So that's how you your athletes, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, the more, the more slapping you do, the less creepy it is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a monster. I'm a great world wonder. I'm about that action. You don't want no drama like Contra. I go against the law. I move like water. I am bloody raw. Ha. Yeah, renegade. You've been a slave. I've been free. Ha. Ha. I'm too strong. No strong No longer sure who's breaking the sweat for. Me or that thing, but um. This dude is an absolute beast. He's absolutely smashing every single thing that we are asking of him. Oh. So, at the moment, he's got um, the battle ropes out. He's got to do four rounds for me, the next guy, and the last. So, he's got 16 rounds of battle ropes. He's done 16 rounds of the assault bike already. So, I imagine he's feeling right now. Strongholds can't lock me. Taking out my enemy Don't remember me forever like a memory